What's poppin'? What's poppin', man? Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's go. Let's go, man. It's a beautiful Sunday. Man, uh, taking my 34-hour reset right now. I'll be back with it tomorrow, but let's get into it, man. Uh, it's a 90-day challenge, you know, and I got five things that I need you guys to do. You girls, it don't matter, because I see now I have more, I have a lot more girls uh, watching my videos also, but it's just a 90-day challenge, man. It used to be 30 days, 30 days straight, but now we go through 90 days straight. You know, because I feel when you really want something, you got to set yourself apart. And this going to be kind of different from the old thing, you know. So let's get right into it, man. The first one I got is wake up early. And I'm going to be doing this challenge also. Even though I've been uh, I've been working and stuff like that, I'm going to start off this challenge with y'all also, you know. But the first one is waking up early, man. Waking up early. I feel when you wake up early, man, and you ahead of your schedule, you early like let's say you got an appointment for 10 like in trucking you know we have an appointment for 10 o'clock uh for example i got an appointment in uh atlanta at 11 a.m tomorrow morning so instead of me getting there at 11 a.m i'm gonna get there probably 9 30 9 o'clock even when they say you can't come early look i'll be there early i don't care because sometimes they just be saying that but for your own sake you want to be there early because like you never know what's gonna happen traffic a bad accident like you never know you might get a flat tire but you can use that for your whole life too you know so instead of showing up to work and you got a minute left you got five minutes to, you know you got five minutes before you late man start getting to work an hour early two hours early you know 30 minutes early because that just makes you feel better about yourself and when you ahead of the day man it just it just makes you feel like you got more control when you late all the time or like when you close to late you just be feeling so you know like damn i forgot to do this i forgot to do that so you know let's start waking up earlier man and being on schedule i mean uh, being ahead of schedule you know and let's do this for 90 days straight you know the second one uh work double what you do now you know so if you work in 40 hours do 80 you know, do 80, you know, like raise, like in this lifetime, bro, you really want to challenge yourself. Like that's the only way you go beat depression. You go beat stress. You go beat all that is to challenge yourself. And you know, when life get crazy, you really got to go back to the basics. So this is the basics, you know, for the people who already made it, who already feel complete. This may, this may not be for you. This, this is for the people who need to get back to the basics. You know, so work double what you do now. You know, challenge yourself. You know, if you get overtime, hey, do that. Do that. You know, but it gets better. Hold on. Um, number three, exercise. You know, and this is the most important thing, bro. When you when you exercise, I don't care what you do. Like you don't have to be this perfect bodybuilder, this uh guy. Nah, bro. Do exercises that benefits you, you know, but you want to push yourself still. And you want to be consistent with it you know i got um resistant bands i do push-ups all that you know outside the truck and that's the best thing when you truck drive because man it's really depressing when you out here and you see dudes and no offense to dudes who like you know big and stuff like that but it's it's kind of depressing when the other side is motivating dude probably doing a regen on his truck but it's it's motivating because you don't want to get like that man you really don't because that's going to cause all kind of problems you know, and that truck loud. He, he probably doing a region, you know. Okay, the next one is this. This very important. Every Sunday, get out the house. Get out the house every Sunday, man. I don't care if you go out to eat, uh, you go to the movies, you go just conversate with uh, different people, uh, anything. Just get out the house on Sundays. You know, still in the morning, get up. Uh, you know do your little light workout if you have to go walk something like that but on sundays get out the house man get out the house and go do something you know because to me i feel sundays are uh for days you reflect you know days you reflect on so so you reflect on how your how your week was you know that week and then you planning for your week ahead so sundays are very important it's very important man so get out the house on sundays and then reflect on your week that you're going to have the next week that's very important man because like 
yeah, you can work, 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 but you still want to have that, uh, you still want to be able to socialize and stuff like that so you don't get burned out. You know, that's very important. So Sundays, get out the house, bro. You know, get out the house. You got to take a long drive, get out the house. That's, that's very, very important. Very important. And because sometimes, for example, sometimes let's say you're a writer or something and you have writer's block. You know, it's very important. We have writer's block. Take a walk. Go walk in the woods. Go, you know, go walk in the woods and watch what happens. All kind of ideas will come to your head. That's how life work. That's how life work. When I wasn't doing videos and stuff, man, I just be driving it, bro. All kind of, I got videos for days now because I got ideas, ideas. You know, sometimes you got to step back to make a step forward. You know, so that's very important, man. Sunday, every Sunday. Now, if you got to work and stuff like that, you know, just make time. Always make time for yourself still. Even if it's an hour, two hours, always make time for yourself. Always. This is the last one. Very important. No complaining, man. We're going 90 days, no complaining. You know, so if you're used to complaining, yeah, it's going to be hard to do. Like, you're going to have to catch yourself. But try your best not to complain because you got to always remember it's somebody else who got it worse than you. Oh, you took an L? Oh, you broke now? No complaining. Figure out what you got to do to get your money back up. Figure out what you got to do to get you another car. Figure out what you got to do to get you another apartment. Figure out what you got to do to get back where you was or where you're trying to be. That's very important in life, bro, because a lot of times you're going to be in your own way, but a lot of times life just going to happen. Like, it just going to knock you down to see, you know, to see if you're resilient. And each time you got to come back stronger, bro. That's very, that's very important. So no complaining, man. When you catch yourself complaining, catch yourself. Like find a way. And I'm telling y'all all this because when, when my life get chaotic, man, I just go back to the basics. And each time I go back, I get better and better. You know, that's, that's a part of life, bro. So I'm in this with y'all. I'm going my 90 days shit. I might go more, you know, cause I, I know where I want to be at when summer begins. Arizona. I know where I'm going to be at. You know, I know what I'm going to be doing. So you got to know what you, you got to have that, you got to have the ending already in your head. Where you want to be at in 90 days? In 90 days, where you want your life to be at? You know, that's very important. And working 90 days straight. So if you off one of them days, still work on something. Work can be you working on yourself. You working on a flaw that you don't like. Work could be anything. Work could be you writing down your goals, but doing something. You know, you got a YouTube channel. If you off your regular job, record on a YouTube channel. That's that's work. You know, so the goal is, man, for us to not really focus on being rich and stuff like that. You know, that's gonna come if you really want it bad. But to focus on like the inside, like to how can I say this? First, you gotta, you gotta, we gotta learn how to overcome, you know, bad times, down times. You gotta learn how to do that before you get anything. Cause what you gonna do when you gain everything and you lose it? What you gonna do? You know, like so, you gotta build that first, and day by day by day, man. You know, so, hey, man, it's just five things, bro. 90-day challenge. We starting tomorrow, so let's go.